from a single cell transform to a complex network of cells, the coming of a new being has now begun. And with numerous life forms, there are communities that lie over and above. Let's dive into the world of science and beyond. In this episode of Beyond, join me as I unfold yet another story behind the most common bacteria. Escherichia coli is one of the most frequent causes of many common bacterial infections. The genus Escherichia is named after Theodore Escherich who isolated the type species of the genus. Inside the intestines of people and animals, even in the environment, these are the places where you usually know that communities of the E. coli bacteria reside. They are said to be harmless, but in some cases, it can even cause serious food poisoning. Okay, so Escherichia coli or E. coli is a rod-shaped bacteria which has um, additional layer. So this one is for an additional capsule so that um, other bacteria or other um, foreign invaders cannot enter its body and also it is multi-flagellated therefore it is motile and can swim in uh, water bodies or watery areas. According to World Health Organization, at least 600 million people suffer from diseases caused by this bacteria each year. And in the Philippines alone, last 2017, there were already 32,000 cases recorded by the DOH only as of the month of September. Abdominal cramps, fever, vomiting, diarrhea that may in some cases progress to bloody diarrhea or hemorrhagic colitis are the symptoms of the diseases caused by this Shiga toxin producing E. coli, one most commonly known pathotype. They say it is only self-limiting but it's estimated that up to 10% of patients with STEC infection may develop HUS or hemolytic uremic syndrome. It is characterized by acute renal failure, hemolytic anemia, and thrombocytopenia or low count of blood platelets with a case fatality rate of 3 to 5%. The prevention of this infection demands controlled measures at all stages of the food chain starting from agricultural production in farms to processing, manufacturing, and preparations of food both in commercial establishments and household kitchens. The number of cases of disease might be reduced by good hygienic slaughtering practices, but it would not guarantee the absence of aspect from such products. And that is why the WHO or the World Health Organization recommends these household preventive measures for E. coli 0157H7 infection, like basic food hygiene practices, also called as WHO's five keys to safer food, which are to keep it clean, to separate raw and cooked, to cook thoroughly, to keep food at safe temperatures, and to use safe water and raw materials. This practice can prevent the transmission of pathogens responsible for many foodborne diseases like diseases caused by Aztec. But did you know that most E. coli are harmless and actually are an important part of the healthy human intestinal tract? So E. coli being diverse, this is also found in the human gut and also in the gut of animals. So therefore, not all E. coli is harmful. Also, um, E. coli is um, one of the normal microflora of the gut so therefore it can help in the breakdown of food particles that it can be uh, done in during digestion and also um, uh, E. coli can be used in genetics for it to be as a vector of genetically modified organisms. However, some types of it are really pathogenic but little did we know that this community of bad bacteria not only lends a hand, but lends itself in the field of genetics and is a constant help for researchers. Escherichia coli is one of the most known model organisms that is extensively studied to understand a particular biological phenomena. According to John E. Cronin, a researcher from University of Illinois, as a gram-negative gamma proteobacterium, E. coli is presently the best understood organism. 
It is a paradigm organism in bacterial physiology and genetics, as well as a key tool in molecular genetics, in that many genetic manipulations throughout biology involves it. E. coli is actually a preferred host for gene cloning due to its high efficiency of introduction of DNA molecules into cells. It is also a preferred host for protein production due to its rapid growth and the ability to express proteins at very high levels. And the ability of this bacteria to grow on chemically defined media coupled with its extensive genetic toolbox make it a key system in study of bacterial metabolic pathways. There really are more to this bacteria than what meets the eye. Join us again next week as we unfold yet another community beyond. Canis lupus familiaris, the one, the only man's best friend. For years as we moved from caves to villages, cities and suburbs, dogs were destined to stand by us. But what immunity does this anti-rabies vaccine give our dogs over time? Let's dig deeper to the world of POS and beyond.